on the hot seat. Maryland's top attorney is answering some tough questions in Washington, D.C. today. Rod Rosenstein is nominated to be the second in charge at the U.S. Justice Department, the deputy attorney general. And it may be up to him to investigate allegations of Russian interference in the election. WJZ is live in Washington. Marcus Washington has more on today's sometimes testy hearing. Marcus? That's right. You know, his experience during his record is one that will be questioned and looked at as he faces confirmation. And many will tell you that he is a fair attorney and he is the person for the job. His role as top attorney in Maryland has put him on the front line fighting some of the most high profile cases as U.S. attorney for the District of Maryland. We're hoping to catch the perpetrators and hold them accountable. Rod Rosenstein now faces a new fight as he stands confirmation to become the United States Deputy Attorney General behind U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions. I've served under five presidents and under nine attorneys general. And I want to assure you, Senators, based on my personal experience, that our department is filled with exemplary professionals. During his nearly 12 years as Maryland's top attorney, Rosenstein has been behind the takedown of some of the most powerful gangs in Baltimore. In 2013, he tackled members of the BGF gang behind a massive drug smuggling ring inside the Baltimore City Detention Center. And after the 2015 riots, Rosenstein pushed for hard sentencing for people behind looting and fires. And most recent, the indictment of seven Baltimore City police officers accused of stealing and lying about hundreds of thousands of dollars in in overtime. During his 27 year career, he's earned a reputation as a fair and focused administrator of justice. The big question Rosenstein now faces is how he would handle an investigation looking into Russia's role in the 2016 presidential election. Uh, I would evaluate the uh, facts and the law, consider the applicable regulations, consult with career professionals in the department, and then exercise my best judgment if I were acting attorney general or provide my best advice to the attorney general if he were not recused. Uh, about what I believe is the right course of action. And Rosenstein is currently the longest running U.S. attorney in the country. We are live tonight in Washington, D.C. I'm Marcus Washington. Back to you. Marcus, thank you. Mr. Rosenstein has served as Maryland's top attorney during three presidential administrations appointed by President George W. Bush in 2005.